All right, I'll just, I'll just start off by saying uh, if there's a way to get beat in just about every facet of the game, uh, we got beat today. Offense, defense, special teams, uh, we were outplayed. And I first have to give credit to Truman State's coaching staff and the Truman State's players. I mean, they came out ready to play, uh, which we knew they would. Uh, you know, we'd watch them on film. You know, certainly us as coaches were uh, really impressed, particularly of their defense and their special teams, just uh, the intensity that they brought uh, every single play. Uh, we knew they were dangerous in both of those phases, and that certainly proved to be true. Um, so I'll start there. I mean, they, it really hats off to them. Their players played really well and, and deserved to win the football game. Uh, it, it was a frustrating football game as a coach um, because it never seemed like the game could evolve into any type of rhythm, really in any of the phases of the game for us. And, uh, you know, if we had a big play on defense to set up third down and eight, they would get the third down and eight. Uh, if, if offense had a big play going, uh, we would turn around and, and have an assignment miss and, and wind up, or, or a penalty that would put us uh, you know, uh, second and long or something like that. So uh, there were at times that we had some great execution, um, particularly first half defense uh, and our second drive of the game offense and, and a couple of drives in the second half. Um, but uh, we got beat by a pretty good football team and we did not perform to the level that we needed to perform uh, to keep things closer and to perhaps uh, win the football game. Um, certainly I think I'll give uh, you know, hats off to, to Trey. Uh, he, you know, for his first uh, college start, was able to go out there. And I know he certainly knows he didn't play perfect, but uh, for a quarterback playing uh, in some meaningful snaps, uh, you know, he, he did a pretty good job for the most part. Um, you know, it was good to get Jimmy uh, into the game. You know, it had been a long time uh, since Jimmy Seawald had, had uh, taken significant uh, snaps for us as well, and, and he had gotten closer and closer each week. And we felt that as a coaching staff, it was really important with the league uh, schedule coming up, starting with Davidson next week, that we wanted to give him an opportunity to go out there and, and see what he could do, um, you know, with some adrenaline flowing through his body and everything. And, and uh, you know, Jimmy uh, had some good drives as well when he was in there, but, uh, you know, clearly, uh, he's not where he needs to be uh, yet. Um, it's frustrating for him and for us as an offense. We know that because he's out there every day at practice. It's just uh, something that shoulder is going to take time. And uh, you know, hopefully, you know, if that's the case this week, it gets stronger and uh, he'll be playing on Saturday against Duquesne. And if it's something that we just have to bite the bullet and hang in there until he is. Uh, uh, at 100%, uh, that's exactly uh, what we're going to do. We've certainly, uh, in his absence, we've gotten a number of quarterbacks, um, you know, uh, over the past couple of weeks with Chris Duncan and obviously Trey, and and uh, they've gotten some experience from that. So uh, definitely a setback. But as I told our football team, this is if this is a wake-up call to the things that, that aren't working for us, to uh, some people that were exposed or schemes or us as coaches, things we're going to go back and we're going to evaluate it. And a lot of good can come from a loss like this if your team can stay humble. Uh, we still have all of our goals ahead of us, which is to win the PFL championship. Uh, and uh, that starts really with fixing what went wrong today. And there was certainly a lot that we need to fix. Uh, and finding a way to get better each and every day in practice. And, and uh, so uh, we'll break this film down as coaches. We'll see what we can do to get better, whether it's scheme or putting players at different positions, putting us in better chance to have success. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll hit the ground running tomorrow uh, for practice and, and uh, see if we can find a way to get better and, and beat Davidson. Drew, the second half, it, it appeared like, did you guys get tired? I don't necessarily think that physically we got exhausted. Um, I think maybe it might have been more of a mental issue when the ball started rolling the wrong way. Um, you know, the maturity lacked, the leadership lacked. Um, you know, our, our composure was, was slightly drained and, um, you know, it's 
really unfortunate to see how that played out. Um, but yeah, that starts with the, uh, the leader, starts with me, starts with the seniors, and um, it seems as if mentally we started to break down. Maybe physically some guys did get exhausted. Um, but, you know, I think it's really more from a mental standpoint. People started poking their head inside when they're responsible for resetting an edge on defense, myself included. Um, you know, thinking about myself personally, I know I, I stepped one step too far, two steps too far, overshooting gaps on inside run. And, you know, it's, it's, it's obvious that mentally we started to break down a little bit. And then because of the mental breakdowns physically, we were not able to get the job done. Coach, how frustrating was that kickoff return, right? I mean, it seemed like you were just needed to get a stop after that. Yeah, I, I think you could point to probably eight times in the game where that happened, where, OK, we've got it, we're back. We, all we need is a stop here, and then we give up a touchdown. Um, there, there's many points. So it, it certainly wasn't, uh, I think it was a microcosm of how the day went for us, uh, unfortunately. I mean, we knew they were a great special teams. We know that they were averaging 40 yards a kickoff return, and we did a great job. Uh, you know, Demetrius Latsonis' kickoffs were outstanding uh, for most of the day, and that one wasn't. And, and uh, it wasn't anything that we hadn't prepared our guys for, and, and uh, uh, we just uh, weren't able to make the play. And, and um, like I said, there was a bunch of things uh, today that just didn't go well uh, when our guys had a chance to make a play. We didn't. Trey, can you summarize? You guys did move the ball, but just weren't able to finish uh, on several of the drives. And what were the biggest factors in just the offense not being able to finish several of those drives? Um, I think our biggest thing that killed us was a lot of penalties that we had, a lot of mental breakdowns. I think um, you know we had some good drives going, and then you know something happened, and we get down on ourselves. You know, kind of shoot ourselves in the foot, um, and, that, and that's what kills drives. You know. So if we can eliminate that in the upcoming weeks, I think we'll, I think we'll be ready to go. Coach, there's a couple of times on fourth down where like, you had Jimmy Pye and mm -hmm. your fellas with fake punt. Like, what was your preseason high note on them over the Yeah, well, again, we knew they were a great special teams football team, so we wanted to keep them off guard. So we, we had planned uh, to take some chances. Obviously, the one with Jimmy punting paid off. We put the ball down on the one yard line, and, and that went about as perfectly as it, as it could have. Uh, the fake punt was something, again, being down late and not playing really well offensively. It was a chance that we were really uh, willing to take. Uh, Parker ran a good route, and uh, it was a play that we'd run pretty successfully in practice, and you know, we just didn't execute it. So, uh, so absolutely, uh, risks that, that uh, had to take, and, and when they pay off like Jimmy's punt does, it's, it's great, and when it doesn't work, uh, it looks like it's a terrible call. But, uh, uh, but that's just part of our philosophy. We're going to take those risks. We've got confidence in our players that they can come through in the clutch for us, and usually they do.